Hi everyone, how are you today? Jackie Rain, 4 3 Makers Business Solutions. Have you ever been duped when you bought something? Well, let me show you something. Oh, this is my dog Chevy. Cute, hey? Really cute. But guess what? He's not 10 pounds. Look at the size of him. Uh, he's like 22 pounds. When we buy him, guess what they told us? Hang on just one sec. They told us that our dog would be 10 pounds and we specifically wanted, we looked for a dog, we talked to breeders, we, you know, we did what we thought was our due diligence. We're looking for a 10 pound dog, why? Because we want one small enough that we can put under the seat in the airplane and we can travel. <sighs> yeah, well, we were duped. Our dog is 22 pounds, 22 pounds, not 12 pounds, not 15 pounds, but 22 pounds. There is no way he can go underneath in the airplane. So when you're duped, you know, and you're left with that bad experience as a consumer, as a customer, it really just ticks you off. I can't tell you, you know, he's, he's over, he's like just over a year. How many times do you think I've looked at that dog and got, oh, I was duped. And it's those bad experiences that really leaves a negative mark on salespeople and the reputation of, of salespeople. So please, don't dupe people. It's not good. And of course, you know, they talk five to 25 times to more people about how they've had a bad experience than how they've had a good experience. And of course, social media, it's gone online, everyone can see it. So please, be transparent and be honest with your, with your customers and your clients. Really, really important. You don't wanna leave them with a bad purchasing experience. You wanna leave them with a wow purchasing experience. Take care, have a good one. Hope this helps. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.